what's good tarot tribe it's the priest i'm back with another reading so today's pick a card reading is all about your true partner and who you were meant to be with so take this how it resonates i'm going to do my best to describe them and their energy and you can decide whether or not you've met them and at the end of your reading i'm going to be pulling a couple of cards on how you can manifest or allow them into your life so yeah this is going to be a pretty dope reading all centered around your love and partnerships of relationships so we have four different decks you can choose from deck number one two three and four you can find that timestamp down below and also your chapter down below so you don't have to listen to the whole entire reading you could just go towards the deck that resonates best with you so again this is going to be all about love and i'm hearing the message for you guys is that miracles happen in love too all right let's hop into the reading and see who you were meant to be with in this lifetime all right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and who you were meant to be with. All right, let's get their energy. Okay, we have the hermit. They could be a Virgo. You could be a Virgo. They could have Virgo in their chart. We have the five of wands. The five of pentacles. Okay. The devil, we also have Capricorn energy. And we also have the nine of swords, okay? So this person is definitely gonna have a story to tell, okay? I also feel like you can resonate with certain similarities of where they come from. I see this person is seeking harmony in relationships and family. So they could come from a place where they didn't really see much love much harmony so this person could definitely be on a path to wanting to create that for themselves okay also with the person that they're with and the family i i just hear the word family is very important to this person so meeting people who see them who connect with them that is very important to them i see this person could definitely be a loner because of that all right this isn't going to be someone who just lets anybody in all right, they are, they are an observer. They're very observant when it comes to people. They can have a way about them, I guess, a standoffish way about them. But I do believe it's because they have learned a lot from where they have come from. I also sense that this person is on a path of discovering more for themselves financially and wanting more for themselves financially. They could have come from a broken home or a home of poverty or maybe just not a home where there was a lot of flourishment in finances because this person's background and energy is coming up with a lot of adversity. So we have adversity in their energy and in their relationships and we also have adversity in their finances. So this person is really looking towards more and having more in their life all right let's get some more information on who this could be okay so yeah they could definitely be a bit hard on themselves okay so even if i'm describing you then that's because you are them and they are you you are manifesting each other if you haven't already and so yes you will be along the lines of the same frequency that's what this love is that's what i'm seeing okay so let's see why the hermit is here one card all right we have the high priestess okay this person is very intuitive very intuitive all right not just with observing people they don't really let just anyone around them. They're not someone that's going to dive deep right away. So this person could be to themselves. And that's only because I see that they have a gift of intuition. So they could definitely see. And two of wands. I see that this person is at a crossroads right now. So who you were meant to be with, they're definitely going to have a story to tell. Okay. And I see that their intuition and their instincts are what's going to bring you two together. Let's just get some more information on this person. Unity, yeah, that's really, really big, okay? I'm just seeing that this person is really searching for something different, and, and what has happened is they've had to change, and they have to go away from so many people just to find themselves because of something deeper that they're looking for in this sense. Harmony, equilibrium, and connectedness, unity. So this person is looking for it, and hoping soon to find it all right let's get some information on why the five of 
pentacles is here thank you king of wands so this person is meant to be abundant okay they are meant to be prosperous whether you meet them in that place where they're going up or where you meet them where they're already coming into their king of energy they are meant to be a leader they are a creator so this person likes to create certain things um this person is driven by unique things things that are intri intrinsic intrinsic <laughs> oh my goodness they're giving me these crazy ass words intrinsic and also intricate like they're very there are certain things that really inspire them that could be very odd and unique. So I'm definitely sensing like they just like to explore a lot of exploration. They want to see something more. They go off of a lot of energy. And I think that's why they pick up a lot of energy. So this person is meant to be abundant, comes from um, a place of lack mentality. So again, that that could be their parents that could be how they were raised that could be how they were taught but they were meant to be financially stable so some of the hardships that they've experienced is actually due to some of the beliefs that they adopted around finances so this person is meant to be a leader okay has a vision all right thank you the fool yeah they go after their dreams okay they are led by how they feel they are led by their instincts okay and I, I see that they're aware of this okay I, I see and feel that they could already be aware of this okay we have identity recognition okay so this person could be well known people could see them a lot they could be in the spotlight okay but I am also seeing that this person is mirroring the greater version of you okay not the perfect version that is what something that I think you guys are both learning how to transmute is perfection. There's no such thing unless, of course, you are being true to yourself and your soul and your spirit. That's perfection. That's what's going to lead you right to this person, into the arms of this person is what I'm hearing, okay, if it hasn't already. However, in order for you to see them, you have to be able to see yourself so that you can see that this is possible, okay? So a lot of this person that you're meant to be with is going to really inspire you okay you're i'm hearing this very clearly your true life partner the one that you were meant to be with in this lifetime is going to inspire you to want to become the truest version of you the most authentic okay so this person is going to bring a lot of self-awareness to you all right this person's going to be um bringing a lot of things about you so if there are things about them that inspire you, it's because those things are within you. So you guys are mirroring each other at your greatest potential. This relationship deck one seems like a wish come true. It really does, okay? And it's up to you whether or not you believe in those wishes because I see that it's here, but your hope is also what's fueling this connection and bringing it together. You recognizing who you are and the value that you bring so you don't overlook yourself. Also, becoming your true self because whoever this person is cannot recognize you by your false self they can only recognize you by your true self like oh i know her i know him but you would have to be acting in your true self to, in order to attract that so i do believe your identity is a huge part of this relationship and and what you're meant to be so this is not going to be a codependent relationship all right this this is there's this person has come a long way from codependency um this person has their own happiness that they've worked towards they're okay being alone but they also enjoy the company of others there's a good balance here but they've come from a lot in order to achieve that so that means a lot to them okay now the path of this person and what they're destined to do is they're coming up as an empathic starseed so this person is very empathic all right they could have a lot of water in their chart um they don't have to have water in their chart which would be like pisces scorpio cancer but ultimately this person is a feeler okay they could be a creative i'm hearing they could be in the artistry world they can be an artist they could be a musician okay anything that feels they're a part of they're an empathic starseed um they also sometimes absorb what is not theirs and that's again if i'm if i'm describing you it's just because this is your life partner soulmate that's what it is it's you guys had these similar backgrounds and you're a lot alike and that's why you're falling in love with yourself 
in another person. So you have to understand them, the truth of true love. And I believe that that's what it's leading up to. So yeah, this person is, is an empathic star. See, they can feel, they can discern. I believe they have a gift. So they could be a clairsentient. Okay. So this is someone who can feel the, and they feel that energy. Like I said, they just have that, that knowingness. All right. And they let that guide them. Their emotional intelligence has led them this far. Okay. So how can you manifest this person? I pulled two cards for you. We have true manifestation is about receiving what is the highest good for all. Perfect. So if this person imagine is not where they should be in the divine timing that you guys meet, it wouldn't be fair to you. It wouldn't be of your highest good to bring this person in if they were not yet evolved at the frequency that you were and vice versa, right? Spirit's not going to bring someone to you if you're not ready. It's not their highest good, right? Two people together that the universe truly cares about is how it's going to come together. That's true manifestation. All right. So it's going to be good for everyone, not just you hitting the jackpot. So you have to really be true and honest with yourself about are, do you feel at your optimal? And when you feel at your optimal and the best is when you manifest this person. Okay. I choose to be a super attractor and have unwavering faith in the universe. Okay. So this is also testing your faith. This connection was meant to test your faith and understanding that miracles and love happen. That's, that's literally the statement here that spirit keeps giving me. Okay. Is there anything else on this life partner that we need to know who they were meant to be with? So trusting in the universe is part of how you're going to manifest this person having faith. Okay. And it's, it could be challenging because you're having faith in something that you've never seen happen before. And that's a miracle bringing two people together on the same exact frequency with coincidences and backgrounds and his, I mean, the universe is literally a miracle worker. So when you meet this person, it's not going to be you making this happen and you going out on so many dates until you find the one it's going to happen by chance. So you might as well sit back, chill, allow in the process and prepare. Okay. We have the ace of swords. So yeah, I definitely see a new beginning here, a new perspective, a new way of seeing love is what's bringing you towards this person, whoever this person is that you were meant to be with. Okay. Let's see what they were meant to do together. Okay. Why this is so important to you. Okay. I'm hearing stability. Look at this. I cannot make this up. You guys literally queen of wands. Okay. And who is this person? The king of wands. Okay. This is your counterpart. All right. You were meant to be with the, the version of you, whether it's the masculine, whether, whether it's the feminine and you two together are creating something. Okay. This would be like an artistry couple. Okay. For a few examples, it could be like a producer and an artist or a business manager and a construction worker or a land developer and a property salesman, like whatever you guys do together, it aligns in the creative world. And let's see what that final card is. Four of cups. It's meant to bring fulfillment to you. I've sensed that you guys have been seeking each other for some time. Okay. There has been a knowingness that you have that someone is out there, but just believing in the possibility of it is, is what's manifesting that. So yeah, this is going to bring you fulfillment here with the four of cups. It's almost like your souls knew that they are longing for each other. Yeah. It sounds, listen, if it sounds too good to be true, that's how, you know, it's the universe because if it's good, it's true. So we're scratching off all of that. If it's too good, it's too good to be true. That was last year's mentality. That was a decade ago. Okay. We know that if it's good, it comes from God. We know that. And we know that if it's God, then it's meant for us. And it's also true. Okay. That means it's true. It's truth. And that is literally the closest that we can get to God is through truth. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is a beautiful reading. I sense that you guys are in the process of manifesting each other. If you haven't already, I would love to hear your story. Don't forget to comment down below if you guys chose deck number one. And yeah, I'm going to move on to deck number two. In the meantime, until I see you guys, love and light. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and who you are meant to be with in this lifetime. So let's get some clues. Okay. We have ruin. Ten of swords. We have victory. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race. That's what I'm hearing for you guys. Deck two. Oh, the star card. 
my gosh, this is my favorite card in the entire deck. If you guys didn't know, it just makes me so happy to see the star card. So the star card is inspiration. It's hope. Okay. So whoever this life partner is that you guys are manifesting, it's literally going to restore your hope. It's going to change your entire view on love, true love. I'm hearing you were meant to find true love in this lifetime. So it's bound to happen. It's destined to happen. You don't have to do anything except feel good and allow that to happen. Obviously, I'm going to get into some practical manifestation things that you can do to manifest this person, but I wanted to know more about who they are. So whoever they are, they are victorious. So they could have recognition. People could acknowledge them for accomplishments and accolades. They're coming up as the star. Okay. And just reading this person tells me a lot about you, because if this is your life partner, then only imagine who you are. So that means that if you haven't yet reached victory or your stardom is what I'm hearing, then you're on your way to doing that. This is connected to your life partner. Okay. You guys, if they're a star, you're a star, literally you're mirroring them. So if you don't believe or feel like you are, that's what the holdup is, is why don't you believe that? Why? And in believing that you're worthy of this relationship, because this is, this is a like, a gift from the gods. This is a gift from the universe. <laughs> um, and this is something that you really deserve. And it's just making me happy because you've went through so much to get here. You you've come so far and it's the same thing for this person. They have come very far as well. Okay. And even if they've beaten you to their victory in the spotlight, specifically, you are still on your way and you're still connected. So let's get some information on this 10 of swords for this person that you were meant to be with. They come from uh, a long journey of hardships. Okay. They have overcome doubt. They have overcome fear. They have went after their dreams. They are probably living their dreams. So their frequency is very high. Imagine someone who's living their dreams. They're having fun. I mean, they're financially free there. That's like a whole vibration right there. So when you are vibrating, there is where your chances are more likely to connect is when you're vibrating on that energy. Okay. 10 of swords. Why is it here for who they were meant to be? Thank you. Queen of pentacles. Okay. This person has been on a path to financial freedom, to having more material things. Okay. So with the queen of pentacles, this person is independent. Okay. They don't need anybody, which is also why it feels so damn good because a lot of people want this person. A lot of people see this person, but they are meant for you. The, the, your guides are bringing you together for a reason. This is a divine connection and we'll see why, um, in the later in the cards. So the queen of pentacles, this person is independent. Once again, the queen of pentacles, she doesn't even need a king. She's so financially independent, but sometimes it could be lonely, right? It could be lonely at the top or feel that way. And that's what I'm getting from their energy. It's like, I got all of this stuff. I have this, I have that. I'm, I, I have this waiting for them to come. I have everything, but where is my person? This is what I'm hearing. Okay. So we have the eight of pentacles. They have worked very, very hard very hard practically in their life. They could be an earth sign. They could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Okay. Just working hard. And that's, they do have a lot of things. Okay. So this person is independent. So also what spirit is saying is that you, that's how much more confident you must feel in order to attract this person because they don't need you and they don't need anything you have to offer. So it can only be the connection. So that's what's so powerful about this. Okay. That's what's so powerful, powerful about this connection. <clears throat> okay. Very powerful energy. All right. This person could definitely be living their dreams. Okay. This person could have a lot of luxury things. They could live in a high rise. They could have multiple properties. Okay. They could be driving a nice car. They are probably, I mean, even the six of wands was at the bottom. And I just see that this person is really very victorious. Okay. Um, they're on their in, if you've another time, 
that I believe that we can meet this person is when you're both on your way to victory. So either they're already in victory estate or they're on their way. Okay. So that's very important, but I believe that for most of you, they're already there. Okay. Let's see anything else about this person. Why is the star card here for their, who they're meant to be with? Okay. The sun, what, what 10 of pentacles, like, dang. Okay. The sun. Okay. You know what? Whew. The sun and stars is so much. I can't stop smiling, cheesing you guys. This is literally a miracle. Um, you're probably not going to believe it in the sense of logic. Sometimes, sometimes you might have to go back over your thoughts because it seems so damn good. The sun is here and the stars is here. This is destined. Okay. There's a lot of joy here. You were meant to meet this person. You guys are both power couples. We have the 10 of pentacles at the bottom. Okay. 10 of pentacles is the king and the queen of pentacles together. Okay. That brings in an empire. So you guys are meant to have a lot together, bringing together what you guys have to the table. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is also commitment. Okay. And again, there's like this ancestor who was, who's here next to these two. And she's holding this like trunk with the crystal. And it's almost like your spirit guides are working together to bring you two together. Okay. And it's for the purpose of let's see the cosmic heart devotion potency make your life a moving prayer i believe that you two together could inspire more okay and that's usually what spirit does when spirit brings two people together like that it's usually to inspire a massive amount of people okay so this is an empire couple this is a power couple the sun is shining there's a lot of joy and happiness here it's overwhelmingly it's overwhelmingly good Okay. And that's why you must believe you're worthy and deserving of this, or you will push it away. Okay. Or you will overlook it, or you will think they're out of your league, or you will think it's too good to be true. So that's what you've been working on. Believing. Okay. Believing in love. Anything else on this couple community, your tribes are coming together. So you guys could be building a tribe together. So again, the purpose of raising the frequency spirit brings one person who's raising the frequency already. So you guys could already be light workers. You could want to help the world, want to bring light into the world, want to bring more love into the world, want to get into spirituality and learn more. And so does this person. So you two bringing your tribes together is bringing a community together. And it's like, you can change the world by yourself, deck three. And so can this person, but God's spirit universe is like bringing them together. <laughs> It's like, it's like Trinity and Neo in the matrix. Like you're just, it's just destined. Okay. So it's very beautiful. I love this. So cosmic heart, your heart is very important when it comes to what you do, who you meet, how to attract that person. We also have beauty. See, this is about your confidence. This is what's attracting this person. This person is beautiful. This person, they have eyes on them already. People see them already. Oh my gosh. They're already a prize and they know it right now it's for you also to know that because you guys are mirroring each other. And if you're not mirroring their greatest version yet, then you're probably evolving to that. So that's could be what the prolonging of this process is. Okay. So beauty, radiant, self-esteem and strength, know who you are. And just as I'm describing this person, I'm also saying this is your greater version. You're meant to be victorious. You're meant to do these things because you're your partner. Okay. It's your soul mate. It's the mate to your soul. <laughs> so yeah, it's just crazy. All right. So that's very important. We got 22. So this year could be a big year for you. Um, or last year, depending on when you're here, this is a timeless video. So 2022 big year for beauty, seeing yourself radiating, glowing. Um, this is actually what's also going to bring your person in closer. If you haven't already met them, we have judgment. Okay. Spiritual. I like to say that this card is all about, you know, the twin flame. I know that we've over butchered it, you know, in the world with just the twin flame. So just outside of the labels. Okay. This person is destined and they come when you find your truest self. Okay. Because that's how you recognize them and that's how they see you. So in order to recognize each other, you have to be true to true to who you are. So judgment it's part, this person is connected to your purpose also. 
okay? What you're doing here on earth. They're, they're more than just an intimate partner. They're someone who you're literally looking to meet in this lifetime so that you guys can... It's something about the world, you know, raising the frequency. This is a very powerful couple that I'm getting. Yeah, high priest, yeah. Who are you? Jeez. So yeah, this person could definitely be um, into tarot, into spirituality, high priest, very in tune. Very, very in tune. This isn't going to be someone that you're going to have to explain yourself to spiritually. This person is already going to be in tune, okay? They're there. They have the oracle cards out. They also have judgment. This could be something that you're you're getting into as well. Your guys' purpose is so connected to this relationship. So just imagining the depth of this relationship, all right? So intimately, you guys are intimately drawn to each other. You also are financially stable. You have the materials. You will have the love and now you have depth with your connection, which is spiritually being connected and then also living your life and living your purpose, living your dreams. Like this is, this is like euphoric happiness that not very many people reach. The hermit, we have Virgo energy. So this person could definitely be to themselves. Okay. Or work better by themselves. They're okay. They can see clearer when they are alone their clarity is very sharp so they do like their alone time they do like their space okay they could have been hiding this entire time the sun of fire and we also have the wheel of fortune so let's clarify why the wheel of fortune is here okay so you guys were destined to meet each other with this wheel of fortune okay knight of cups they're coming in and the strength card leo okay you guys were destined to meet this person that's why we have the wheel of fortune here we have the sun of fire it is definitely a passionate connection too. There's a lot of intimacy. So the, the intimate connection is very deep as well with the sun of fire. And I just believe that you are, you are manifesting this person and they are coming in very quickly. How can you manifest them? I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to come to reality. So this vision that you have with this person, what you want to experience, right? If you've been having glimpses or dreams or imagination of the type of relationship that you are desiring, spirit is saying that when you put your intentions, which are good and combined with your faith, that's enough to allow this to come forth. And truthfully, uh, believing and having faith is what's bringing this also together because it's making it more realistic for you. I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. So feeling good about yourself, uh, feeling good about how you look, feeling like your optimal prime so that when you do meet this person and so you can meet this person. And that's what's gonna get you to the frequency that they're on is um, you know, just feeling good about yourself and feeling worthy of this connection. It's very, very important. And understanding that you believe that you deserve this and you deserve to feel worthy of receiving is really what it's coming down to receiving okay trusting that's what's coming out trust any more messages thank you forgiveness all right so some of you are also releasing some things that happened in the past because life is too precious to wait so allow this to even if you're not there with the faith of manifesting the, the person that you're meant to be with which you are, I'm hearing. And I can't wait to read the last sentence on this card. Let this excite you, okay? Let this fuel your manifestations by knowing that this is real, this is true, this is out, this person exists, okay? And let that fuel your inspiration um, to feel good about yourself, to, to feel ready, okay? To feel deserving or worthy, and only you know what that feels like, okay? So it says you create your reality, okay? So a lot of you guys are manifesting this because you really want this, okay? So those of you who believe are going to receive this. And it says you create your reality by what you think, okay? So if you're thinking it's not true, you're right. That's the reality you're creating. But if you're dreaming and imagining, which it says you create by, by how you think, dream, and imagine, dreaming and imagining this person and knowing that they exist 
it brings you peace. And it's also creating that reality a lot quicker because you feel good about that. So what we feel good about, we attract, okay? And that's what I'm seeing. We also have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. So what's going to bring you closer to this person is what feels good and what your intuition says. It says, for it is only in being true to yourself that you could be true to others. So you being true to you is the biggest key to manifesting this person. Because again, if you're not being true to you, how do you expect them to recognize you? How do you expect that to happen? Okay, be your truest self, shine so damn bright. <laughs> it's reminding me of the great Gatsby. Shine so damn bright. Look inside yourself. See and examine what is causing you to feel this way. So if you feel bad about anything, anything, it doesn't matter what it's about. If you feel bad about any, anything, these are just splinters that need to be removed so that you can feel good, again, about attracting this if you haven't already. All right, your true life partner I'm hearing is going to inspire you to be your optimal just naturally because you want to show up as your best version because you realize they're the best version. And so it's automatically going to inspire you to just move, to do things like, okay, I don't feel good, good about this. I'm going to change this. Okay. I didn't feel good about this. I'm going to change this. All right. And only you could be honest about what that is. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Okay. So some of you had to walk away from certain situations thinking it was maybe that, but again, your true life partner and only, you know, is going to naturally inspire you. They don't even have to talk at all. It's just knowing that that is your life partner just automatically inspires you to be your best mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. And that's why spirit uses the twin flame, uses these strong connections because it almost like turbo boosts us much quicker as if we were on our own journey. Okay. So it's like a double pack. Like it's like doubling you in the universe. And now we have that much more, but spirit is doubling those who are in their optimal. They're being themselves, their full true selves. Okay. So I think that this is exactly what's what's bringing you guys together. So the last thing I'm hearing is just be thankful for this coming in. Just be thankful and grateful that it's true and that it's real. So if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and who you were meant to be with. Very, very powerful. Probably one of the most powerful love readings I've ever had. And I can't wait to see what comes in for you. But most importantly, the feelings that you're going to have just knowing that you deserve this. So, all right, I'm moving on to deck number three. All right, if you guys know deck number three, this is your reading in who you were meant to be with. Four, we have completion and harmony. <clears throat> we have the six of swords. We have oppression. We have the public offender. Jeez, you guys have been through some crazy relationships or... Maybe in a past life you went through crazy relationships if you have yet to experience this, okay? I feel like you could have experienced a karmic relationship recently. <coughs> could have definitely experienced a karmic relationship. So we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Four of Wands, lots of energy. We also have the Six of Swords moving forward and away from something, needing help in order to do it with the Queen of Wands here with the Public Defender, okay? Uh, we have a lot of energy here, as you can see, just certain people in your life that you have been drawn to. So let's just get some more information on who you were meant to be with. So four of uh, wands, why is that here? Four of wands for deck three. And then also this is your person's energy. Okay, yeah. So yeah, it's gonna definitely be a celebration when you miss this, when you bring this person in. I feel like this person and you could have been missing each other. Uh, some of you could already be with this person for a few of you, okay? I I'm seeing that you could have already found the person that you were meant to be with. Let's see why the Ten of Wands is here. Whoever this person is, they had a pretty challenging past here, okay? Um, they could have done some things that got them into trouble just trying to make more money. So there's some things in the past, but it doesn't define who they are is what I'm sensing. Okay, it doesn't define who they are. So yeah, they've had a past of heartbreak, okay? 
Um, this person has come from a place of maybe feeling like they disappointed some people in their past. Let's see who the Queen of Wands is. The Emperor, okay? So yeah, some of you guys, this person could have children. They don't have to, but they could definitely have children. Okay, anything else on who they were meant to be with? Two, equilibrium. So whoever this person is, they're, they're meant to balance you out, bring balance to you, okay? And balance to them. I see that they have been through a lot. There's been a lot of confusion. This person has had their ups and downs for sure. I wanna say very heavily. So I know that we've all had our ups and downs, but this person seems to have went through a very unique past that has oppressed them in many ways. So they're learning how to heal um, the masculine energy specifically for most people is what I'm hearing. So we have the seven failure. Yeah. So failure, equilibrium, father of water. They have a very caring heart, very charismatic heart. They care a lot. Okay. They could definitely have children with the father of water. And we have Scorpio energy death. Okay. So they went through an ending that they probably thought was for them. Okay. Um, they are working towards believing in love. Okay. I'm, as I'm feeling their energy, believing that love exists, believing that it's out there. Okay. So they've been through a lot of experiences in the past that have made them maybe not believe in it so much. Okay. They've seen a lot of endings. They could have been around a divorce when they grew up. That's something too. So their outlook on love, uh, universe is working. So they have been challenged in just believing in love in general. Okay. So they could be an Aries. They don't have to be an Aries, but they are coming up as an emperor. So this person does care a lot. Uh, their past has made them and inspired them to want to talk more about the positive, not, you know, making life useful. Um, everything they've been through kind of helped them become who they are. So it was purposeful. It was, it was meaningful for them to go through what they did in the past for them to have a different outlook and then want to become a mentor, be a mentor or is a mentor or is connected to children could just genuinely want to help them change the outlook on their destiny by parenting. There's a lot here with just charismatic energy. So whether they have kids or not, they're just really drawn to youth and, and new things also council group meeting advisors yeah so we could be in the council um just mentoring just being a coach um again whatever their past is that they went through is what inspired them to want to be what they are today so this person could even be a police officer they could be in the council administration um again they want to make a change they want to make a difference but their difference is not it's not so much spiritually driven as much as I believe it is going to become, let's just see about their pathway. Earth school, yeah. They're just now getting into a place of learning more about spirituality here. Life lessons, yeah. They've had to go through a lot of life lessons, but now that they know the lesson, they are desiring to like go share it. And I believe that this person is learning that their higher perspective is that th what they went through is going to help other people. And so now I'm seeing that they want to do that. So they're going through a soul growth. They are just getting into spirituality, possibly at the time that you meet or if, if you already know them and then higher learning wanting to. So if you guys, for a few of you guys, you've already met this person. Okay. I feel comfortable saying that. And that's because you're grow You would know because you're growing together spiritually. This person, um, whereas a couple of other decks, it's like this person did this path, this path, they came together. You guys could definitely be growing with this person. Okay. Growing, um, with this person into becoming who they are. All right. Um, that's for a very few of you. Now, those of you who have not met that person, this person that you're meant to be with is not really doing things from a spiritual perspective of like, Oh, spirituality universe and stuff like that. They believe a little bit, but they don't really have their concrete beliefs just yet. Um, they just naturally are intuitive and they don't know it. So they could be a Pisces. They could be a cancer. They could be a Scorpio Scorpio for sure, because I have death here. Okay. And so for the father of water, this is someone who's very charismatic. So they just naturally have that intuition, but they don't know that they don't know that they have this gift yet. So you could be meeting them. Um, and then inspiring them in the process of like, yeah, spirituality. And then you guys do it together. So you, so this person is going through a higher learning in this moment. 
release, letting go, freedom and healing. So in order for you guys to meet each other, and if I'm even describing you, that's because again, your life, your true life partner that you're meant to be with is going to mirror the greatest version of you. So if you had struggles letting go, releasing and being free from certain things, so has this person. So imagine two people trying to come together and they're just like, and spirits like just release that all trust and that person will come. So you guys have both been learning on just releasing, trusting and allowing the healing to occur by just not jumping into a relationship and kind of giving yourself some time. I see that this person is doing distance. Yeah. Discord. So yeah, divide separation. So yeah, you guys are definitely you. If you haven't met this person, you could be at a distance. Or if you feel like you've already met this person, you could be at a distance so that they can go through their soul growth. You can go through their soul growth and they will meet. Give me the chances on that for deck three. Both soul growths coming back together. Both soul growths coming back together. Thank you. Five of cups. Okay. So no, that's not it. <clears throat> So some of you who are in separation, who felt like this is the person, uh, I'm not seeing that. Let me see why the five of cups is here. Let me just get clarity on that. King of swords, justice. Okay. So for some of you who thought maybe you did meet someone and you really thought that was your person, if it brought karma to you, like if it was hard, I'll just give you the key words and let you decide if it was hard, hard to keep together. You had to try or you had to try or you tried new things. And if it, it was really hard, I would say that that's actually a karmic relationship. So very few of you guys actually have met this person and are with them. It's a very, very small few of you guys. But those of you who thought that or think or in the past, you've probably already come to this conclusion that that was you'll just know because even though it looks like they're perfect on paper, or, oh, they have this, they have this, they have that. If it's bringing a lot of karma to you, if it's bringing a lot of hurt and pain, then again, it's going to be a karmic relationship. So I do see that you're going to have a lot of clarity when it comes to who this person actually is and who you're meant to be with. You actually had three cards. You were the only deck, I believe, that had three of these. And these are how to manifest this person, okay? So it says, it feels good to feel good. So you must feel good. You must be in a good vibration in order to meet this person. All right. My ability to receive this person is measured by how much I practice good feelings about this person coming in or already here. Okay. So feeling good is what's going to help you attract this. Now, another thing spirit wants you to know is that when you're connected to spirit, you should feel a sense of certainty. Okay. Now we can even take this method into a relationship and plug it in and say, let's see if this was the right relationship. Was it certain? Did I feel certain or did I have to ask a lot of things? Okay. Was I just not certain? Was there not a knowing? Okay. And was there magnitude of ease? Was it easy? Was it free flowing and natural? Then if not, then it was not for you is what I'm hearing. Okay. So it says, when you're connected to spirit, you'll feel certainty, magnitude, and ease like never before. So I definitely feel like getting a closer relationship with your soul, because remember, you want to manifest your mate to your soul. You must know your soul, okay? You must understand a little bit more about the soul and feeling good and how the soul works. Because I see that you've chosen partners based on what seems to be a good fit. Like logically, this seems like it would work, right? With the king of swords, this makes sense. But this, what you're desiring is a little bit more depth of fulfillment. And that comes from the universe bringing us together. Okay. Um, and that's how soulmates work. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and who you were meant to be with this person. Once again, they're very charismatic. Okay. They have a very bright future. They want to mentor. They want to coach. They want to help. They want to teach. They've been through a lot of things in their past and they are really desiring to, I think they're open to love. Okay. And I see that you are going to surprise them. And I think you're open to love and I see that that's going to surprise you. So, all right, I'm heading on to deck number four. <laughs> I'm already channeling a song right now. Deck four. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> deck four. Let's see what is here for you guys for who you were meant to be with. All right, let's see who 
you're meant to be with oh two of cups right off the bat whoa okay we have capricorn energy the devil okay whoever this person is they're very confident okay they're very confident i also see that they care about material things uh it doesn't ha it's not to a crazy extent but i definitely see that they do care about having practical material things all right let's see what else this person the fool i love it okay so they could want a child they could have a child we'll get clarity we have disappointment they don't have to have a child ace of earth adjustments okay they could be a virgo they don't have to be definitely getting some earth vibes here and swiftness okay ace of earth all right so two of cups is good this means that this would be a destined soulmate for you you would know they will feel very familiar there's a comfortability with you two there's a beautiful friendship i see lots of communication uh the 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 relationship that you guys have is not just intimate it's like your best friend as well this person is definitely your best friend is what i'm getting let's see why the devil is here why is the devil here for deck four is meant to be person devil okay uh the empress okay this person has had to learn independent happiness for themselves okay they're coming up as the empress so that means that they've went through a rebirth and a transformation so you might hear the the people around them saying they never used to be like that or last you know they would never but now something has happened they've changed um and i'm definitely seeing that they have a very beautiful alluring energy to them okay they're very beautiful physically very physically attractive is what i'm getting but i'm sensing that even more so to you and also into intellectually okay this person would be like a sopio -sex sexual all right let's see why the full card is here ten of cups yeah this is beautiful so i see that you were meant to have a child with this person if you don't want children at that time truthfully then this person would probably already have a child or some sense but i'm definitely seeing that there's family here there's the ten of cups here there's a lot of emotional happiness that that this person brings to you i don't see that there's a lot of strife or arguments that i'm sensing here i'm feeling very certain that this feels good in the sense of not having to question it so i'm gonna let you see how it resonates based on if you've already met this person or not the hangman changing your perspective in the knight of pentacles okay so this person is really going to change your perspective on life on having more for yourself okay nine of cups yeah this is a wish come true as well so let's get some more information <sighs> waiting okay so waiting watchfulness preparation alertness some of you are waiting to manifest this person some of you know that this person is out there and you are waiting to manifest them okay let's get some clarity on why disappointment is here for this person who they're meant to be with disappointment the star so whoever this person is they have a dream they have a dream and they are their frustration comes from not being where they want to be so if you haven't met them yet it's because they have to feel confident and worthy within themselves and if you're feeling that way vice versa because again you guys true partners you're going to mirror the greatest version of yourself okay we're talking about someone that you were meant to be with in this lifetime so yes there will be relationships that you will have okay there that you were meant to be with in that time but this would be someone who's you're destined to be with Okay, so this person is definitely believes in themselves. They believe that there's something more, but they haven't really achieved it just yet. They haven't really seen it for themselves. So they kind of been struggling with just doubt and, um, and just distractions, you know, just so many things coming in between this person's dream. And I see that things will be picking up around the time that you guys meet. All right, there's a few adjustments that have to be made here. Um, with the adjustment card and that adjustment is just the balance okay so this person is learning to have balance with how much they give of themselves and understanding relationships 
Spirit is working with them a little bit more on bringing them expertise as far as what a healthy and good relationship is. So the Ten of Cups is here. This is going to be a very, I'm, I'm hearing this very clearly. This is going to be a very simple connection. You don't really have to do much. It just works. So if you feel like you have to do a lot, then that should tell you who you're with. Okay, and I'm only saying that because, again, this would be a divine partner and the Ten of Cups is here. These are two genuine people who are happy. So there, there will always be issues, but it's not a hard relationship is what I'm picking up, okay? So wherever this person is, they, they are, they're dealing with the loss of doubt, fear of failure, um, going after their dreams. They feel more confident when they have more. They feel more confident when they're going after their dreams. So that's what the holdup has been for both of you guys, just feeling worthy of receiving more. So let's see. The full card is here. So they're definitely going after their dreams. They're led by their instincts. Anything else on this devil? Thank you. Yeah, five of wands. This is the strife card. So this person doesn't want any problems, any drama. They're very simple, very simple. They want to enjoy life. They want to live their dreams. They want to be in a happy, committed relationship. If it's bringing support to them emotionally, Wheel of Fortune, I see that you were destined to meet this person. So the fortune is in your favor. Two of Pentacles, but there's a decision. What is this decision for deck four that they have to make for this person to come in? Three of wands, you must move towards the light. So move towards the hope of another person. So, woo, deck four. Mm -mm -mm. Deck four. <laughs> you might be still stuck in the energy of someone in the past. Because remember I was saying I was channeling that song earlier. Some of you may definitely be over it. Okay, so those of you who've have had a relationship definitely could have been over a past connection. Okay, and I'm sensing that there, there, there is a back and forth a bit in your energy field. And just know that the wheel is spinning in your favor to meet someone who is optimal. Okay, let's get some more information on who this person is so you can understand their, their energy. The magician, thank you. Okay, yeah, they're coming in. Communication is coming in, the magician. That's what I was feeling. So just so you know, this person that you're meant to be with, they're a magician. They make things happen. They are, they're a, they're a baby magician, okay? They're, they're still like spinning the wand and it's, some things are happening, but not all of the things are happening. So sometimes they do get frustrated. That's what the holdup has been with themselves and getting to their dreams because when they get to their dreams, you're in them. Okay. They're together. They come together. The dreams and you, you're a package deal. Same thing with you. When you start living in your dreams, you start following that. It's the same thing. You will meet that person. This person is a manifester. Okay. So they get what they want for the most part. They're learning how to manifest bigger things, um, in their life. And I see that there is a decision that you're, you have to make in the three of wands is waiting and walking. Like there's waiting for something. Okay, and it could be someone from the past. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be. Only you know what your energy field is in. But if you're not focused on the right connection, right? And, and you could be settling for the wrong one because you think it's right. It's based on your feeling, okay? Based on how you feel. And whoever you are waiting for is meant to mirror you. There's two owls here. So they're mirroring your soul not your ego. So just because you might be a tennis player doesn't mean they're a tennis player. That's, that's ego, right? That's 3D stuff. You are spiritually, soulfully mirroring them. So let's look at the soul, their dreams, their hope. Where is their heart? Okay. Let's look at their spirit because that's what you two are mirroring. But if you haven't found your own spirit, right? How can you manifest that in another person? Okay. So you are manifesting a higher vibra vibration, okay? So you are manifesting a higher vibration of yourself in a partner, the highest vibration, okay? Not the perfect, it's just you being true to yourself to the core. So this person is gonna mirror that in you. So whoever you're with that's not mirroring that, you will see that, okay, you have to trust that there is more for you, okay? So I don't know who that message is for, but queen of swords here. Okay. So 
release your grip a little bit on what you think sh it should be or shouldn't be or should have. Okay, because with the Queen of Swords, she's analytical. She wants to analyze it and make sense of it. This connection that is going to fulfill your soul is going to come from spirit in the universe, not intellect and logic. Okay, it's a spiritual thing that you're doing here. It's a soulmate connection. And that, that's what I'm definitely sensing here is, is a soulmate. Okay, now what is the path of this person that you're meant to be with just spiritually so we can see that? Star family. They're a part of your star tribe. They're a part of your soul tribe and family. So they are, you guys will have the same beliefs. That's another clue. Okay. You'll have the same spiritual beliefs. All right. It's beautiful. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like me and a boy. It's like me and a girl. So call in your support. So they're part of your tribe. Okay. And you guys are meant to do something together in that tribe. Let's see what else connects you to contemplation, reflections, reminiscing and musings okay so contemplation thinking okay this is reflecting on who you are so that you can attract this person kind of like what i was saying earlier direction navigation guidance and signs okay so the navigation and the signs are directing you towards your heart's desires and in this case your heart's desires is to experience a soulmate connection with this person who is coming up as the magician who wants to have a family, who wants to expand, who wants to live their dream, who believes there's more for them. Anything else on the person they were meant to be with? Knight of Wands. So I definitely feel like they're coming in very soon is what I'm hearing for you, deck number four. The Knight of Wands is passion. It's also the night that is i would say is the hardest to stop because once it gets going it's just driven on passion and desire so this is going to be a very deeply passionate desirable connection you've never experienced before okay this is going to be a lot of creative energy a lot of high vibrational energy is what i'm sensing for you too okay so with the knight of wands this person is working towards being the king. You could have definitely resonated with another deck. And if I'm not gonna tell you which deck it is, but in that deck, that person came up as the king, guy or girl doesn't matter. With this, he's not, or she's not exactly there in their high vi vibrational state when you meet them. You guys are either on your way there or they're just getting there. So they're coming up as a knight, but they're moving towards the king. Yeah, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, that's a fast one. I was going to say the only other fast one is the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person's coming in fast for sure. For sure. Okay. How to manifest them. You decide today to recalibrate your energy to commit to love and joy. So committing to love is just, I know this person is out there. I know that the universe loves me. I know that I am exuberating love. And if I feel good about that, then that must come to me. So feeling good and feeling love and feeling joy and being in your optimal prime is what brings you to this person okay we also have i am kind and loving towards others while creating clear boundaries so both of you guys had to learn codependency and learning your self-happiness self-worth finding your own happiness on your own and that's because spirit wants to make sure when you guys come together you don't sabotage it you can actually enjoy it without the fear of someone doing this or not worrying about if you can trust them there's a relationship that exists for you that that is freely flowing without concern and it feels so good and it's love and it's joy but there's still boundaries even though i don't really care for the word boundaries because it, it also is a sense of protecting there is still an awareness instead of a boundary, an awareness of, okay, this is becoming codependent or, okay, let me spend some time to myself. Let me go find this. Let me meditate. Okay. Cause I feel like I'm starting to care too much about when you start to replace your happiness with that, with a person, that's when you kind of know like, okay, I'm seeping into this codependent. I'm depending on you so that my happiness exists. Right. I was watching too hot to handle on Netflix. And I'm just like, these kids are so codependent. He leaves and you don't even know how to live. He's gone and you're not eating, you're not sleeping. So you don't want to live without that's codependent. And we're learning healthier relationships because who wants to go through that? Cause 
some he will leave by the way i'm not gonna say who it is but i already predict that <laughs> like it's it's just because you're only gonna attract that right and if that person's codependent they'll leave you become codependent with someone else it doesn't stop so there's not a ability to find true happiness for yourself and be codependent right so that's what you're learning is a healthy relationship and it does exist and imagine a relationship where you you don't have to feel like you need that person to text you back, call you back, or do any of that for you to feel good. You're just like, I'm doing my thing over here. You know, like you're just focused on you. That All of the other stuff doesn't matter because you have your own happiness. And then when they come, it just adds to it. It's just supplementation. It's like, whoa, that just maximized my happiness, but I already had it going. So you're learning how to generate your own happiness so that you can then attract this person. Deck four, you got me wild up over here. Got me fired up over here, deck four. So if you guys chose deck four, this is all about a soulmate that you are destined to meet. And I can't wait to hear your guys' story. So if you guys did choose deck number four, don't forget to comment down below. Can't wait to see you guys in the next pick a card reading. Knocking them out. Sending you guys so much love and light. On to the next. Don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe. In the meantime, I'm out.